Hello everyone and welcome to Baby and Sunshine's YouTube channel. My name is Bella and I'm a mom blogger. My blog is called The Miami Mommy. Today I'd like to talk about what you can do when your baby has a common cold. And I first would like to point out I am not a doctor, so obviously this is not medical advice. When your child is sick, the first thing you should do is check in with your doctor and make sure that he or she doesn't have a fever. Once you have established that your baby only has a common cold and not anything worse, there's really not a lot you can do when they're still very young. However, there are a few tips that you can do to help soothe your sick baby. So here's my tips and tricks that I like to use. So number one, I would recommend some natural remedies. Um, most pediatricians do not recommend to use any medicines for kids that are very young, especially under two years old. I know there is some sort of over-the-counter medicine like Zarbies. However, please check with your pediatrician first if they would recommend that for your child. And the other thing is to give them a lot of fluid, a lot of liquids to get rid of their cold. So if you're nursing, nurse, nurse, nurse a lot. If they're not nursing, make sure to give them a lot, lots of bottles, lots of liquids. But keep in mind with the honey or whatever fluids you give them, if, since it contains sugar, make sure if your kid has teeth that you take care of brushing his or her teeth afterwards because dental health is very important too. Number two, steam helps a lot. So I would recommend if you do not have a humidifier for your little one to buy one. You can find them pretty much anywhere, at Target, at your grocery store, at any sort of big uh, pharmacy store like a Walgreens or a CVS. You can buy them online so they can be shipped conveniently to your house. They have really cute ones that are shaped like an elephant for your child. And you just refill the water every night and then you turn the humidifier on overnight, which also helps your baby getting rid of all that mucus and breathing deeper so he or she doesn't cough all night. And because there's really nothing more heartbreaking than when your baby that's sleeping peaceful wakes him or herself up from coughing and then crying, like it broke my heart when it first happened. And the other way you can use to help get rid of um, the mucus and to help your baby breathe deeper is if you go inside the bathroom and close the door and then you let the very hot water running so you can create a natural sauna in your bathroom. And obviously do not put your baby in this very hot water, that is very dangerous, but just stay in the bathroom. You can hold your baby, keep him or her in her diaper and um, the steam will help kind of clear up the sinuses a little bit. Like if you ever gone to a steam sauna while you're sick, you've noticed how it helps. Or even as moms know, like when we open the dishwasher and the steam comes up, how it helps uh, breathe deeper. So this is some of the things that I have used, which has helped my baby. So number three is it is very important to get all the snot out of the baby's nose. One of the main issues with very young kids being sick is that they cannot blow their own nose. So what happens is that the snot in their nose travels down and this is what creates the cough. So you wanna make sure to get the snot out. And there's one tool that before I was a mom, I always thought it was super gross, but now I feel like it's a lifesaver. It's called the Nose Frida. So it's a little device. I have it right here to show you. And so you have this syringe-like tube that you would put in your baby's nose. And then there's this bendable straw attached to it. And it's perfect to just suck the boogies out of your child's nose. And do not worry, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is so gross. I will get all that snot in my mouth. But don't worry, there is actually a filter here. So it's impossible for you to get any snot inside your mouth. And this really helps. If you do that before they go to sleep and in the morning, this is definitely a great tool to help them get all the mucus out of their system, at least for a little bit. And um, I mean, I'll warn you, my son really, really hates it. He always cries when we do that, but he does feel so much better after we're done with this. So I highly recommend getting this tool or any sort of device that helps you get the snot out of your baby's nose. Now, number four, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm from Miami, um, is more of a kind of Miami superstition that we swear by. Um, the Cuban American people here think that Vic Vaporub cures pretty much almost all ailments. If you are of Hispanic descent, you might have heard that before. But I can tell I also have gotten good results when I've used Vaporub um, while I was sick. And I have found um, versions for, especially made for children 
uh, that are similar to that, that are these soothing chest rubs, but they are not made with menthol or any sort of petroleum. They are all organic with beeswax and eucalyptus and other good ingredients. I think Zarbees is a company that does one of those. You can look them up. And um, what I like to do is not only put them on their chest, but I also like to put it on the back. And one trick that I feel really helps is when you put it on your child's feet and then put socks on before they go to sleep and you'll see your child will wake up feeling a lot better. But as I said, that's one of the superstitions we do here. And all of the tips I'm giving you, I said before, I'm not a doctor. However, I've done my research and most of that advice, except for the vapor rub, is advice I've gotten from pediatricians. So I feel very confident sharing this with you. And last but not least, obviously what is even more important than uh, alleviating the cold is to prevent your child from getting a cold. So there are little over-the-counter vitamins that are baby friendly that you can buy. Also, practicing good hygiene is very crucial now more than ever. So make sure you wash your child's hand with warm water and soap a lot um, and for at least 20 seconds. Um, my pediatrician recommended for me to bathe my child right away when he comes back from daycare to get rid of the germs. So I just made that a habit that each time I come out back from outside, I just bathe him right away so he's fresh and clean and get, gets rid of all the yuckiness from outside. And also what I like to do is use organic materials for his clothes and for his sheets. And the reason is that non-organic materials are farmed with pesticides and pesticides can lower your immune system and they also can cause allergies. So first of all, you want your child to have a strong immune system and also you do not want them to have any allergic reactions. Like for me, most of the times when I feel like I'm coming down with a cold, I'm really having some sort of allergic reaction. So this is my two cents on this. And this is why I love Baby and Sunshine because they only use high quality materials they only use organic materials and stuff that keeps in mind that your baby has very sensitive skin and is still a little growing being that needs to grow their immune system as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope these tips were useful for you. If you have any other tips, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear them. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is the Miami Mommy underscore and baby and sunshines is baby underscore and underscore sunshine. Have a great day. Goodbye.